Well, I was only 11 and uh, I was with my father. My father looked after me and uh, I, I, I just w lived from one day to the next. I didn't know really what was going on. I knew that it was not nice to say the least, but uh, that was all I knew. Um, there was one um, of the SS guards who was not nice, who was quite nice to me personally, but even more who noticed that one girl at the roll call was standing in a puddle and her shoes were in a very bad condition. So one day he came back with a pair of old but usable shoes for her. And he once saw me in the hut where I was left behind from the roll call because I was ill and uh, I was allowed to stay behind in the hut. But he came and very, he was very kind to me, quite simply. So th there was this one man, uh, he was called Popeye, by the way. Um, strangely enough, we, we didn't have to work. In other groups in the camp had to do hard labor, forced labor. And in a way that was better because we didn't have time, they didn't have time to get bored. I mean, it was terrible, but uh, we had nothing to do really. And that m meant that we could think about what could happen to us. We could uh, worry more, we could be bored. And boredom was one of the worst aspects of the camp. I'm very skeptical about uh, what one can do, but uh, all I can say is if one tries to keep an open mind and tries to, and one, one can't be completely objective, but if you know that you can't be objective, then perhaps you can be a little more objective than if you didn't.